the Super Bowl MVP Cooper Cup in every single Madden that he's ever been in. And yes, I know this isn't a Joe Burrow video, but I'm keeping the shades on. Now, we don't have to hike this back to Madden like 05, like in some of the previous videos. So I don't gotta get the PS2 or the Xbox 360 out, but I do think this will be hilarious. Number one, I wanna pay homage. Cooper Cup, 99 grit, highest what? motor I've ever seen. Real lunch pail type of guy. I would definitely let him date my daughter. So I wanna pay homage to the Super Bowl MVP with the greatest wide receiver season of all time. I'm sorry, old heads, but this season was better than any season Jerry Rice ever had. I'm sorry! I don't think Cooper Cup's better than Jerry Rice. It's just a better single season. And so go cry about it somewhere else. Either way, the first Madden that Cooper Cup ever appeared in was Madden 18. It was this year that Cooper Cup signed a four-year, $3.83 million contract that included a signing bonus of $950,000. In hindsight, that's a fucking steal. Like, that is highway robbery. But at the time, he was competing with a lot of studs. He was competing with Sammy Watkins, Tavon Austin, and Robert Woods. So it was at this point in the year that McVay named Cooper Cup the fourth-string wide receiver for the Rams. He had had a spectacular spectacular career at Eastern Washington, but it's Eastern Washington, right? So I understand why he wasn't super hyped up. Let's be nice. Name a video game with over 600 plus champions, massive player versus enemy boss battles, and global PvP. I would let you guess, but you already know, it's Raid Shadow Legends. Huge shout out to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Let's talk about one of my personal favorite bosses in Raid. It's the Guardian of the Void Keep, Malik Kavar. Now the main trick to fighting Malik is dealing with all of the poison that he puts out. You're gonna need shields and heals to counteract all the damage that's being done to your squad. But if you can do that, you'll be good to go and you can reap all the crazy rewards this boss has. Plus, Raid has a ton happening this month. There's a fresh rotation of the brutal Hydra boss and a ton of events happening where you have a chance to get a new legendary champion. This is absolutely the best time to get started in Raid. And if you click my link in the top of the description or scan my QR code, you'll get insane bonuses. We're talking a free epic champion and 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion right away. And all this treasure will be waiting for you right here at this chest icon. Check it out, link in the top of the description, and enjoy the rest of the video. In the first game of the season, Cooper Cup had four receptions, 76 yards, and a touchdown against the Colts. The Rams won 46 to nine, a utter blowout. We're gonna hop in. What I'm so excited to see is the overall progression because he's basically gonna go from horrible to insanely good really fast. This is back when Jared Goff was getting better and better too. We're also gonna be able to watch Jared Goff and his overall shoot up and then shoot right back down. 83 overall Jared Goff, right? But where's Cooper Cup? Where the, f oh, he's in here, okay. Phew, it's actually been, wow. Dude, Madden was very gracious. 81 overall Cooper Cup? Now, keep in mind, overalls fluctuate throughout the years of Madden. So when he was first put in the game, the first ever roster update, he was a 74 overall, which by the way, for a rookie, it's actually really good. Like that's a really good rookie wide receiver rating at a 74. At the end of the season, which is what we're looking at here, he's an 81 and he's the third string in the depth chart, which accurately reflects real life. Robert Woods at an 84, Sammy Dubs at an 82. He's got 87 speed, 65 strength, 92 agility, 90 excel. Honestly, pretty solid. Um, for some reason, I'm not seeing the grit stat. I'm pretty sure it's a 99 in this game. So I don't know why they don't show it, but it's a 99. <laughs> Oh my god, we have Todd Gurley. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I know this isn't a Todd Gurley video, but I want to see what Todd Gurley's at. This was not the year that he won Offensive Player of the Year, is it? 89 overall, 92 speed. There's going to be a year where he's like a 97 overall. It'll be that year. All right, first and 10. Booper Bump, are you open? He's not. Oof. All right. Tyler Higby, take us down the field, buddy. Hey, I'm scoring a touchdown with Cooper Cup. Doesn't mean all the yards. Oh, I love this route. So my favorite plays, middle, high, low. I don't know how good it is in Madden 18, but I'm gonna look for Booper Bump coming across the middle. Oh, good cut. He's got it. A, and a face mask. Don't mind if I do. The refs saw how high his motor was and they had to call a, is that joke ever not gonna be funny? I'm probably gonna keep making it. I say we go for the aggressive catch here. Let's motion him down. Send him straight at that safety. I think it might be Malik Hooker, although I don't know. And go up, baby! He's got it! Cooper Cup! 
splits the double team. First, first touchdown as a Ram. Let's go. Hell of a touchdown. All right, boys, we're out to Madden 19. Let's get cruising. Oh, we can play the Super Bowl. Damn, it's so crazy that in Madden 19, the Rams are in the Super Bowl. They relocate, build a God squad. Like an actual, they're basically playing Madden Ultimate Team and then went back to the Super Bowl. All right, I'm playing as the Rams. Wow, we're gonna have two Super Bowl presentations in this video. This will be fun. Jared Goff now in 85 at 23 years old. Todd Gurley, oh shit. Yeah, you know, I think this was the year that he got Offensive Player of the Year. Oh, it might've been the year prior, but you get what I mean. 95 overall, 92s, he's so good. Oh my God. Brandon Cooks, 88. Robert Woods, 87. Josh Rell, 75. And Cooper Cup is not in, but he's an 84. So I don't remember him being injured this Super Bowl, but he must have been. But Cooper Cup went from an 83 to an 84, but that was end season. So really what he did is he went from a 74 as a rookie to an 84 at the start of his next season, which is really good. Uh, 88 speed, 94 agility, 91 excel, 92 awareness. I really, you know what I want to see that I'm not going to see? So his run block is a 51. We need to check this stat as we go on. Cooper Cup this year for the Rams was a spectacular run blocking wide receiver. A very slept on part of his game. So his run block is 51. His run block power is 32. Obviously, I don't think it should be 99. He's not an offensive lineman or anything, but I would not be surprised if in like the later Maddens, like Madden 22, I think it should be at least in the 70s. It won't let me put Cooper Cup. Wow. Fuck you. It literally won't let me put Cooper Cup in because he didn't play in the Super Bowl. That's sick. All right. Never mind. Hey, there he is. All right. Well, we're gonna try that again. We're in the old, we're in the old LA stadium. We're in the old Ram stadium before they got the bread for SoFi. I think Cooper Cup on PA crossers could just split right over the top, baby. He's open. Yes, sir. We got him in a window, but we've got some more yards to go. Now we're on to something. Look at McVay getting amped. I'm gonna send him to the end zone. Cooper Cup, you wanna just moss somebody? I know that's not really your play style, but that is single coverage. Come on, Coop. Come on, Coop. Let's go. Don't hit the Fortnite dance, bro. Stop. No, you ruined everything. You had the sickest touchdown and you had the Fortnite dance. 84 overall Cooper Cup with a fucking, look at this, snag. Hold up. I got to run that one back. Oh. Who's that on? Oh, that's on McCordy too. Tough. That's a... That's an excellent player he did that on. Sorry, bud. I think if Devin McCourty, you know, was a grittier player at a higher motor, he'd probably get it. But, you know, taking one peek at Devin McCourty here, I can tell that guy does not have a high motor. No grit. On to Madden 20. My favorite Madden of all time. And where Cooper Cup is going to have abilities. So he went from a 74 to an 84. Now to a... If I had to guess, I'm going to say 87. 85 overall. Cooper Cup does have a superstar as well as Whitworth and Aaron Donald. The God Squad begins. Depth chart. Jared Goff has now uh, Jared Goff has officially started his descent. He went from an 83 to an 85 to an 83. Well done, Goff. Todd Gurley up to a 97. Jesus. Now this is a crazy descent. Todd Gurley, start of Madden 20, 97 overall halfback. Not even two years later, I literally don't think he's on a team. I'm pretty sure he's a free agent right now. That's insane. Oh, and Cooper Cup. I overshot on Cooper Cup. He didn't move a fucking muscle. Brandon Cooks, 87. Robert Woods, 87. Booper Bup, 84 overall in Madden 20. Same stats. Let me see the run blocking. Did they did they do anything with run blocking like what I was talking about? I doubt it. I'm pretty sure they copy pasted his stats now that I look at this. 51, 32, 28, 34. They literally copy pasted his stats, which is okay. I'm pretty sure this is when he was injured. He was injured last season at before this. So not much change. He just came back from injury. So I understand, but I am really hoping at some point they do mess with his run blocking. By the way, he should be a fucking 99 at Madden 22, but he's not. I'm kind of pissed about that, but whatever. It's the best wide receiver in the league this year, and it's not even close, but whatever. I think he's a man here. Yup, he's a man. He should get that. Cooper Cup. Oh my God. Cooper Cup. Oh my God. What the fuck? He caught that shit in single coverage and then busted the... Oh my God. That was basically triple coverage. This is nasty. Another one hand snag. He uses the other hand. He used his left hand last time on the one hander. This time he uses the right hander and just shreds the safeties. All right, I'm not complaining. That was badass. Let's go. What are his abilities, actually? Before we go anywhere, let's see what abilities they gave him. He has cross specialist. Better route running and catching on cross routes. That's it. Nothing too special. Oh, good. Madden 20 in the books. Let's go.
go to Madden 21, where I'm hoping he makes some form of leap. Does he do literally everything in Madden 22? So this is the season where Cooper Cup finally gets paid what he's deserved. He signs a three-year, $48 million contract with the Rams. And at the time, the media gave the Rams a lot of flack for this decision. A lot of people thought he was getting significantly overpaid. Clearly, that's not the case now. He did get injured before the playoffs, and that is when they played the Packers. So I actually play the Packers here, and we'll run it back, except this time we'll actually have Cooper Cup on our team. So we're already pretty much caught up. Jared Goff continues his descent to getting fucking traded to the Lions, 77 overall. This is when they signed Cam Akers, who sadly had that Achilles injury pretty early on, and he was out for the whole season. Cooper Cup has gone up to an 86, so he's gonna make a massive fucking leap, bro. So 74 to 80 he stayed stagnant around 84, 84, 86. And now he's going to lightning speed to, I think he's a 97 or 98, but we'll see for sure in Madden 22. 86 overall Cooper Cup, his third year in the league. He's 27 years old. He's got 95 agility, 88 speed, 91 excel. For some reason, they do not put the grit stat. I don't know why it's not in here. 90 catching, 91 short, 90 mid, 84 deep. And let me see these blocking stats. I think they finally caught on just a little bit, okay? Now, normally I'd say, it was just random, but Robert Woods is a higher overall, but has less run block. So I think someone did consciously put Cooper Cup's run blocking a little bit higher, but his power, finesse, and lead block are the exact same stats, 32, 28, 34. Not that I actually care, but I am interested to see if these go up in Madden 22, because that's when they're really going to go up. If his run block is not at least 75, I will be pissed in Madden 22. But he's an 86 overall, the highest he has been yet. Ooh, is that open? Uh-oh. A little lofty there, Jared Goff. It's almost like you're a 77 overall. I mean, I legit Legitimately, you think I could, I might be able to score a touchdown off of this. It's about to say I could score a touchdown off of this, but clearly I can't. We'll send him down this seam. He's in man coverage. I think he'll aggro that. Oh, he's in double coverage. Still caught that shit. Let's go. So we just got to send him to the end zone and have him catch it. Oh, it could have been so much cooler. I thought it'd be sick. It's still a touchdown. Good shit, Cooper Cup. And that spike wasn't a very good spike. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get to the God tier Cooper Cup. Rams versus Bengals. You know, we got to do it. You know, what's crazy. The Bengals made all of it a Super Bowl. Madden doesn't have them with a single X Factor. Whereas the Rams have like four, I think. Regardless, I know everybody loves his shit on EA about ratings, this, that, and the other thing. I don't get how Cooper Cup is not a 99, right? Like how? He was better than any wide receiver this entire season. I know he's a really high overall though. Let's check this depth chart and see just how broken he is. Depth chart, Stafford's an 83, I take it back. He's definitely not an X Factor. Cam Akers is an 82. Cooper Cup is, oh my God, he's so close. Just fucking give it to him, bro. Just give it to him. What's crazy too is he's a 98 overall they only give him 89 speed fastest wide receiver on the rams is odell ben jefferson 90 robert woods 90 and cooper cup 89 he's at 66 strength he's hardly any stronger 95 agility 93 excel 99 awareness 84 break tackle 55 trucking 91 change of direction wow odell is like better in the open field based on this 89 ball carry vision odell's got 96 so where where is he better i'm actually getting frustrated odell has more stiff arm odell has a higher spin move odell has a higher what the fuck Carrying is a 76. Okay, catch it. Okay, now we're getting into it. Catching is a 99. Short route run is a 99. Medium is 98. Deep is 93. Catching traffic is 86. I'm low key a little mad about that. I think that should be higher. Whatever. 81 jumping, probably true. He's a high grip player, uh -huh. aka he's white as fuck. So we'll keep it at 81 jumping. I am actually so mad. He's the highest run blocking wide receiver on the team. He has more run blocking than the tight end. Okay, so maybe Madden just keeps this stat really low no matter what. But I am a little upset. They never changed these at all. 32, 28, 34. Just copy paste. It. Well said. 98, almost to 99. Booper bop. And ability wise, Cooper Cup has rack em up as his X Factor, red zone threat, slotomatic, and deep in elite. All very good abilities. I'm just gonna click a fucking button. No. Von Bell. There's Cooper Cup in a window. Good looks, good looks. All right, let's roll out. Let Cooper Cup clear. Yes, sir. Right over the top. What a ball, Stafford. Hey, we'll take that. We will take that. Second and 10. He needs to learn to not press cover. Let's bomb him over the top for our final touchdown. Here we go. Oh my fucking God. Is that Eli Apple? That better not be Eli Apple who just got torched like that. Eli Apple is... Oh, it's... No, it's Trey Waynes. Oh! 
I feel bad. I wish it was Eli Apple. I should run it back, but I want to run it back to where Eli Apple's on it. I love making fun of Eli Apple. It's my favorite pastime. This is basically the play. What I'm cooking up right here. Okay. Well, the Bengals aren't even going to adjust to it, but this is the play. This was the uh, touchdown play in the Super Bowl. The out route. Oh, Eli Apple dropped the interception. Is anyone surprised? All right, boys, that's it. I wanted to score a touchdown with Cooper Cup in every single Madden that he's been in. He ends it as a 98 overall. It's absolute stud. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this wasn't a crazy one. We didn't have to hike it back to whenever, but I had to pay homage to my boy here. All right, boys, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.